Hey guys, welcome to Mod Library. My name's Captain Shack, and today we're looking at a mod for Mountain Blade, the original, called Star Wars Conquest. Now what this mod is, is a total conversion for the game Mountain Blade that brings it into the Star Wars universe. Now Mountain Blade, if you've ever played it, is a sandbox RPG with elements of strategy and army management. And this mod doesn't change that formula. You jump into the game and you are open into this big world map, this big galaxy map, and with thousands of planets. And you're free to play the game as you wish. Alright, so I started the game earlier. I made a soldier for my first playthrough, and I've got about maybe four hours logged in, three hours into the game. Uh, and I decided to be the uh, the evil empire, and I wanted to rise, you know, raise my big my big army of stormtroopers and and go kick some ass. So you get into the game, and you have this giant galactic overmap with hundreds, it seems like hundreds of planets and stations, and you can actually land on all these and talk to the people, go into the cantinas and recruit mercenaries. Um, one of the interesting features of Mountain Blade is that your troops, if they survive a battle, will level up with you. And over time, with my my crappy recruits that I started with, they were the cheapest to, to, uh, to bring into the army. Uh, if they survive the battles, they'll gain experience and they'll level and they'll change what they are. So my recruit got promoted and he ended up being like, uh, I could choose between a naval officer and a an army officer. And then from there it went, okay, now you can choose, if you chose army, you can go stormtrooper or scout trooper. And it goes on from there. I'm pretty sure it goes probably like red guard or something like that. So you start getting attached to your uh, to your army, to your soldiers, because they'll you know they'll grow with you, and you want to keep them alive. You want to keep them in the fight because they're going to get stronger and more accurate, and the armor gets better, and they just get cooler looking. But this is true for more than just stormtroopers. You've got all these different unit types, and they all can get leveled up. So you get your Padawan all the way up to your Jedi Knight, and I'm really geeking out about this game because it's kind of it's a lot of fun. Now one thing I have to note with the controls. The, the bikes, the speeder bikes, they work just like the, the horses in the game. But the, the rifles, since ranged weapons are such a larger part in Star Wars than they were in Mountain Blade, uh, laser rifles don't have that real... They have the fire rate, but they don't have the accuracy, and maybe it's because of my character's low skills. But you'll find that when you fire, if you try to fire, do a fire follow-up shot, <clears throat> excuse me, a follow-up shot right away, your accuracy just goes complete to crap. You'll be shooting at the ceiling or the floor, and you'll miss the guy three feet in front of you. Now, I'm gonna play some more, and maybe I can do an in-depth actual review. This is kind of a first impressions. Overall, if you can deal with the the Mountain Blade graphics, it's the engine that it's built on, it's not the mod author's fault. They are extremely dated, and you, I guess the game kind of requires it because of the huge number of NPCs you'll eventually have on the screen. Hundreds of NPCs on both sides, all blasting away at each other with the uh, the Star Wars sound effects, the lasers flying back and forth, you know, speeder bikes running around, um, lightsabers swinging everywhere. It's it, it makes for a very fun game if you can look past the graphical limitations of the engine. Now the game is still in its beta. It's not quite a 1.0 release. Uh, if you want to try the game, Desura has it for easy install, and the Mod database page, both of these are linked below by the way. Um, the mod database page has a new version of the beta if you want to try that out. Though there could be some new bugs associated with it being a beta. It being farther into beta. But I really recommend this one if you're a Star Wars fan or a Mountain Blade fan and you want to mix it up a little bit. It's a very unique twist on a medieval game. Thanks for watching, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow and endorse mods you love, and as always, thanks for watching.